Thanks, Hilton. Just about set here now. Quick fella's galloped in the score up. Out the back, quick fella has galloped again in the score up and is going to miss it uh, hopelessly here. 50 metres behind them and they're off Pale Lee, oh trouble going out of the uh, gate here, Wee Whackham went out very roughly and has galloped and has veered in on top of Rashum for a stride or two but he's lost virtually all chance here Wee Whackham, he might have broken some gear or something but as they go to the first turn the leader is Pale Lee over on the outside station here and Moonlight Kiwi the fence and then a length the Mean Thinker on the outside was Rashum and they were followed by Southern Harvest Rockbound getting around it and then Salem about 8 or 10 lengths away to Quick Fella who was slowly away and Wee Wackham after getting into trouble when they went away has tailed off along last. Past the judge and Pale Lee is the leader from Moonlight Kiwi. Mean Thinker on the inside of Station Hand is the first horse without cover. Rashoon's on its back and then on the fence was Salent. Wonder Rock bound Southern Harvest and about four or five lengths quick fella and out of the race Wee Wackham at the start and has tailed off. Down the back they travel, 1300 to go and the leader is Pale Lee up the back by a length of Moonlight Kiwi. Third without cover Station Hand, here comes Southern Harvest from back in the field, making ground three deep around them now. Mean Thinker three back on the fence, Wonder Rashoon on the outside of Salem, and then comes Southern to uh, Rockbound on the outside of Quickfella, and a distant last in the race, Wee Whackham. Coming up towards the bell, Pale Lee three quarters, Southern Harvest into second on the outside of Moonlight Kiwi. 1-1 one, one now, Station Hen, Mean Thinker three back on the fence, and then Rashoon. Salem four back on the fence from Rockbound, Quickfella's tacked on after a bad start, and Wee Whackham out of the race as they pass the bell around out, Pale Lee is the leader from on the outside, Southern Harvest the fence third, Moonlight Kiwi, Station Hand 1-1, one, one. sectionals unavailable Mean Thinker fifth on the rail and then Rashoon around Salent, Rockbound easing out three deep from Quick Fella and out of the race tail out of it, Wee Whackham inside the 600, now from behind the leader, Moonlight Kiwi's broken put the foot in the car to Southern Harvest the driver's being tipped out of Southern Harvest Moonlight Kiwi's driver's down Rashoon's lost the driver as well and Rockbound has also lost the driver what a sensational start to the night. Pale Lee's left six in front of Mean Thinker. Fifteen lengths to Salent and then Station Hand and a long way to Quick Fella but coming up to the turn only two in it now. Pale Lee two to Mean Thinker and the long break of a hundred metres to the others but around the turn it's still Pale Lee two in front. Mean Thinker's trying hard a long break then to Salent and Station Hand. Pale Lee and Mean Thinker. Pale Lee three quarters of a length in front of Mean Thinker and Pale Lee wins a half length Mean Thinker. Now they're the only two across the line at the moment. About 70 metres away to Salent, Station Hand and Quick Fella have just come to the line. They're the only other horses to complete the race. In the back straight the last time, Moonlight Kiwi from behind the leader broke, crashed, crashed into Southern Harvest. Both drivers were tipped out. Rashoon's driver was out, Ross Adams. Rockbound's driver was also tipped out. Four of them came to grief there. They're all up. Uh, by the looks of it and it all seem to be okay one horse still down moonlight kiwi a sensational uh, start there to proceedings well only two left in it at the end May pale lee and mean thinker and pale lee has led all the way to win at five dollars eighty and one dollar ninety number two pale lee from seven mean thinker He'll pay $2.50, and Salent is about another 80 metres away, third possibly, uh, number 10 at about $15. So a sensational start here, with firstly uh, Wee Wackham going out of the gate roughly and um, almost causing trouble there. He lost all chance himself, but then in the back straight the last time, we've had uh, these horses come to grief and the field completely... Uh, Disorganised, leaving only two left in. But uh, I think most of the drivers are OK. Neil, Lee Barmer sitting at the moment. Uh, the others are all standing and walking around. Cry no problems at all with any of those. Lee Barmer, the only one down. not operating at the moment. The official numbers have been brought down by the judge. 2710. 2710 are official. Say, Pale Lee, Mean Thinker and Salent. 5 fourth Station Hand. 6 fifth Quick Fella. 2 metres by 70 metres. 
Time 226.7 and the mile rating 2 minutes and 5 tenths. 2 metres by 70. 226.7, the rating 2 minutes and 5 tenths. First 580 and 190 for number two Pale Lee, two dollars fifty for seven Mean Thinker, fifteen sixty for ten Salent, Quinella nineteen eighty, Exacta forty dollars ninety, Trafecta nine hundred and seventy dollars ninety. Set now Bendigo, we'll be back after that. Lee trained by Kevin Newman for Beryl and Kevin Newman by Powerface Adios from Kentucky Lee, trained by Kevin Newman and driven by Julie Donlan. Mean Thinker, Bruce Wood second by Keystone Scotch from Thought, Silent Joe Pace by Nicky Lou from Lee Rousseau. Fourth went to number five and that was Station Hand, fifth went to number six, Quick Fella. And the All Clear is there. The All Clear has been posted on the first event, All Clear. Donlan will be sassed by Mr. Rice Jones and guests the Huntley Hotel Parramatta Pace, the first event of tonight's program. Aptly won by Pale Lee, Kevin Newman, of course, drove the winners of the 68 Miracle Mile Halwares and also the 81 Miracle Mile Friendly Footman. And Kevin Newman, one of our Miracle Mile winning drivers, training the first winner at Harold Park on Miracle Mile night. Number two, Pale Lee, Julie Donlan, who's Kevin's daughter, paid $5.80 and $1.90. Number seven, second, Mean Thinker, Bruce Wood, has paid $2.50. And 10 was third Salen. Joe Pace has paid $15.60. The Quinella of 2 and 7 has paid $19.80. The Exactor of 2 and 7 has paid $40.90. And the Trifecta of 2, 7 and 10 has paid $970.90. Seven, the mile rate, two minutes and five tenths, no sectionals available. And just repeating those totes, Pale Lee, 580, 190, Mean Thinker, 250, Salent, 15, 60, Quinella, $19.80, Exacta, $40.90, and the Trifecta, $970.90. Um, those drivers are OK. Lee Barmer was the only uh, cause for some concern. I'm not sure uh, how he is. He was sitting up. He's quite conscious, but uh, he's just been put into the back of the ambulance, so we haven't had a report yet. But uh, he, he, he was quite conscious and sitting up, And uh, uh, but I'm just not sure the extent of his injuries at this stage. So a sensational start to uh, to the first event on the program.